Hi there and welcome to our final Martin Masterclass. I'm Kat. And I'm Josie and we're from Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust. Today we're going to be talking about spotting pine martins. So today we're going to explain how to look for a pine martin when you're out in the forest. We're going to talk you through some of the sightings we've had in so far and we're going to teach you how to report a pine martin sighting to us. Pine martins are elusive. I like to think of them as our native forest unicorns. Although Josie and I have worked on martens for many years, we can both count on one hand how many times we've seen a pine martin in the wild. Martins are easily confused with other mustelids. Being at the forefront of everyone's minds around the release site, anything long and tubular can easily be mistaken for a pine martin. For more tips on identifying pine martins, check out our first masterclass. The best time to see martens is in late spring or early summer. At this point in time, females will probably be out foraging during the day and returning to their kits in short bursts. If a pine martin is disturbed by people, it is likely to do one of two things. It might sit tight and watch you and moving on the ground. Alternatively, it will scamper up a tree and watch you from a safe distance. So when you're out for a walk, remember to look up. So today we're going to share some martin sightings we've had in from you and discuss what makes them good and bad to help you report the best quality sightings you can. There are two types of sightings we can get, unequivocal or uncertain. So this was a really good sighting we had reported last year. It includes the location, the day, the time, a good description of what they saw, and most importantly, some photos. This meant we could confirm that this was indeed Pine Martin, and in fact, one of our collared individuals. I'd give this sighting a 10 out of 10. This next sighting came to us through Forestry England's Facebook page. I had the privilege of seeing a Pine Martin this evening. I saw it at the location just after 7pm last night. It made my day. It was really great that this person contacted us to tell us they've seen a pine martin, but other than the location, we don't really have much more information on this sighting and if it really was a pine martin. Because this sighting didn't come with a photograph, we can't be 100% sure that the person actually knows what a pine martin looks like. We do get a lot of pine martin sightings that actually turn out to be polecats, stoats and weasels and even otters. So I'd probably give this one a 3 out of 10. Now this was a camera trap sighting. There were two clips, both from the same camera put out in private woodland. This was a great sighting in terms of the fact that they gave us a precise location, a precise date and a precise time, and the fact that it was a camera trap, meaning we could check the footage ourselves. Unfortunately, neither of these clips were a pine martin. This one is a weasel, and you can tell that by its small body size, its small ears, its short tail, and the fact its entire underside is white. And this is a mink, and you can tell that by its small ears, its lack of cream bib, and by the way it's moving. I'd give this sighting an 8 out of 10, as despite the fact it's a great sighting, it is not a pine martin. This final sighting came in from someone who was working in the forest. I have been advised by one of my timber harvesting contractors today that he potentially witnessed a couple of pine martins being killed at the location by dogs. I wasn't on site for either of these occurrences, so I cannot confirm how accurate these sightings are. One was dro dropped directly in front of my contractor's vehicle, however, so I would assume that they had a fairly good look at at least one of the dead animals. So this is a really hard sighting to confirm. First of all, there were two pine martins spotted. This could be two kits. If kits fall on the ground, they're very vulnerable to predation by foxes or dogs. The sighting was also second-hand, which makes it quite hard to follow up because we didn't have the contact details for the person that actually saw the animal. In the end, Josie and I um, went up to the site that the Pine Martin had been seen at and discovered that there was actually a dead polecat and it's likely that different dogs had been picking up the same polecat and so it had been sighted on multiple occasions. I'd really give this sighting about a 3 out of 10. If you see a Pine Martin, or what you think is a Pine Martin in person, try and take a picture or a video, but stay at a safe distance and try not to disturb the animal. There is a likelihood you may see a roadkill animal. If you do, stop in a safe place and walk to look at the carcass. You do not need to collect the animal, but a number of detailed photos will help us identify it. A swift report to GWT will allow us to collect a carcass if we feel this is necessary. Pine Martin is a novel scent for most dogs, and they will, if inclined, investigate it. Ensure you are sensitive if you are monitoring pine martin cameras, den boxes or potential den sites and don't take a dog along. If you sight a martin whilst out walking your dog, put your dog on a lead as with all wildlife and livestock, dogs can be very disruptive. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of how to spot pine martins and how to report a good sighting to us. And remember, if you're lucky enough to see a pine martin, feel free to take a quick picture but try not to disturb them because these animals are very shy. Thank you for joining us for our Martin Masterclass series. We've really enjoyed filming them and we hope you've enjoyed them too. And we can't wait until you can come out and join us in the woods and put your newly found skills to good use.
And if you want to know more about this wonderful animal and Project Pine Martin, please visit www.gloucestershirewildlifetrust.co.uk forward slash project-pine-martin.